Okay, so this is for my absent friends. This is part two of lesson four. We're kind of doing it old school in here, but we're recording it for you so you can catch up if you need to. In part one of lesson four, we talked about um, classifying triangles by their angles. And the conversation we've had this morning is that a triangle cannot have more than 180 degrees in it. So if you have a right triangle, you know that one of the angles is 90 and the other two are going to be less than 90 and up equal to plus. So if you were to say 45 plus 45 plus 90, the entire triangle is going to equal 180. There is another way to classify triangles. And on page 307, no, 9, is this 309? It talks about it. Equilateral, there's that word equi, equi, equa again. Equa means equal. So triangles have three sides. So all three sides are the same size. That's what equilateral means. Triangles that have two equal sides are called isosceles. And the way I remember that, this is going to sound kind of silly. But the way I remember two with isosceles is you see how there's an S and an S? That's how I remember isosceles. How many sides is that again? Two. A side and a side. S-O-S. -S, a side and a side. Mm -hmm. So save our sides. That's how I remember it. Okay. So equal means all three are the same. At isosceles, two S's here. Same sides, two sides. And that's what these little hashtags mean, these little marks, mean equal. So if you see that on a triangle, that means those sides are equal. Now, a scalene is, I, I call that the scary, okay? That's how I remember that. It's the scary triangle. Scalene, all of the sides are different. All three sides are different. There's notice there's no marks on this. That means none of them are equal. So we have equilateral, all the same. Isosceles, two the same. Scary, all three different. Okay, turn to your neighbor and tell them those definitions. I heard you. Great definitions. So we're going to use these triangles up here to answer 17, 18, and 19. Um, write the letter names of the scalene triangles. So we're going to name the triangle that has the scary one. None of them are the same. So which ones do you think those are? Hey, I heard them. Triangle. Please write these with me. D, E, F, and triangle. T S U and you can say S T U, you can say F E D, it could be any of those combinations of those letters. But the symbol for triangle is an actual triangle. triangle. Really easy to remember. Okay, now I'll try to do 18. Equilateral. All the same. I already heard you do starting the isosceles or the same side. Good job. So for 18, the letter names of the equilateral triangles, or the ones that have all three sides the same, are triangle ABC and triangle PQR. And then equilateral, or the isosceles, same size, or I heard you already, HGI, or IGH, whatever you want, however you want to say it, and triangle JKL. So the big thing here is knowing that there's another way to classify triangles. So when you're naming and classifying triangles, they're going to have two names. They're going to have a sides classification and an angles classification. I want to ask you something. Could these be considered isosceles too? They could. Technically, you could say an equilateral isosceles triangle, technically speaking. So what we're going to do here is we're going to name each triangle by its sides and then explain your thinking. So I'm going to let you do this on your own and then we'll check our answers. So if you want to work with somebody next to you, you can work somebody next to you, but you have the next four minutes. Go. 
So you should have this whole page done and you should be just checking your answers, but it should be scary or scaling because there are zero equal sides. Number 21 is scaling because it has zero equal sides. That's explaining your thinking. Isosceles ha has two equal. S-O-S. Okay, and it's an isosceles because there's two equal. All right, keep going. Isosceles because it has two equal. Isosceles because it has two equal. And number 25 is equilateral. And some might say equilateral and isosceles because technically it does have two sides that are the same. So it can be an equilateral. And I'm just isosceles because it has three equal, which automatically means it has two equal. You've got three scary triangles because none of their sides are equal on 26, 27, and 28. Twenty-nine can be considered an equilateral isosceles because it has three sides, which automatically means that two sides are the same. Thirty is scary. None of them are the same. Scalene. And thirty-one is isosceles because of two equal sides. Um, you were supposed to already have this finished. So if you weren't finished, pause the movie and finish it, and then check your answers. I gave a time limit because we are on a time limit today. So we've been talking here about how sides make triangles different from each other. And other than the different sizes, the right geometry terms would be the lengths of the sides affect its perimeter and area. Remember, perimeter is the, the length all the way around. So if I were to unfold these three sides and lay them flat, how long would it be? No, it would be if this if the if this side was ten feet, this side was because this is scaling five feet, and this was three feet, which that's really off far fetched. It would be ten plus five plus three equals eighteen feet all the way around for perimeter, and then area is the inside. And the lengths of the sides affect that. That's the sides make it make one triangle different than the other. Okay. All right. So on this page, we're going to sort sort the triangles in different ways. Um, and we're going to write a capital letter and a lowercase letter inside each triangle below using the keys at the right. You can cut out the triangles at the bottom and use the diagram below to sort them in different ways. So I've already kind of said we can sort them in several different ways. We can sort them by, by um, side. We can sort them by angle. So I'm going to let you, there's no right or wrong answers here. If you want to do um, acute and isosceles, you need to cut out these, cut out these bad boys on the bottom here, and then you can start writing the letters. So, for example, this is an uh, isosceles L. See the well, it's an I, I guess, capital I. You see that this is the key right here. So down here, this would be an isosceles, what? R, right? Isosceles, right? What do you think this one would be? Um, equilateral. Equilateral what? Yeah. Equilateral A, acute. What do you think this one is? Scalene, right. What do you think? Oh, it's there's a capital letter and a lowercase letter. So the lowercase letter is the angle. 
Um, what do you think this one is? Mm. I think these two sides are the same. So isosceles, what? Obtuse. What do you think about this one? This one's a little long right here, I feel like. So I would say scaling right. No, because that's not a perfectly right one. So maybe scaling obtuse, because I feel like this is just a little bit bigger than 90 degrees. What about this one? Scaling acute. This is definitely a sosceles. Acute. So, where would we put these if you made, and you could pick your own two categories or you could use these categories. And you need to put them where, in the, in the circle, okay? If they're just triangles, and if I were doing this, so I would look at this and go, I saw Celise right. So that one would go over here, right? Equilateral acute, okay? Equilateral acute. Scalene right. Does that fit in either one of these categories? But is it a triangle? Yes. So I could put it scalene right. What about isosceles obtuse? Obtuse. What about scalene obtuse? Out, right? Scalene obtuse. What if I did scalene acute? Oh, isosceles acute goes in the middle because it's both. Now, if we were to change this around and maybe make this scalene, um, scalene, we could say obtuse. What's in here might look a little different. you see where you would move things? Yeah. So the big picture lesson here is you can classify angles in t or triangles, excuse me, in two different ways. By their sides and by their angles. And if you're being a real geometry detective, you bust out your ruler and you bust out your protractor to really look at those angles and to look at those lengths. All right? That's all I got.